First at five, new developments tonight in a crash at a North Smithfield junkyard. We've been tracking the story since it was breaking last night at 10 and 11, and tonight we're learning more about the woman who was behind the wheel. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian is live in North Smithfield with the latest from the Blackstone Valley Mobile Newsroom. A new aluminum fence is in place here at this North Smithfield auto recycling yard following last night's rollover crash that left a woman gravely wounded. Police say 34-year-old Melissa Senecal of Warwick was inside this car when it left Canal Street and rolled into the yard at Northeast Auto Recycling in North Smithfield. The car upside down in this yard is going to look like it belongs here. Brad LaFontaine owns the business and says the crash might have gone unnoticed until daylight, but that wasn't the case thanks to a man working on a project inside the building late Thursday night. LaFontaine tells Eyewitness News that man heard the crash, called 911, and said sent him this text. Hey Brad, I have some bad news. Someone crashed through the fence tonight really hard. And it was fatal. But first responders were able to revive Senecal. She was taken to Landmark Medical Center and is currently at Rhode Island Hospital in critical condition. You know, this road is uh, very isolated. It's, um, it's a very dark road at night. Uh, I mean, most people wouldn't even want to walk down it, never mind be caught and trapped in a car upside down. And again, police tell us that Senecal is gravely wounded. Now, LaFontaine tells us that this is not the first accident that he's seen here, though it was the worst. Now, coming up new at 6, we'll tell you about other past accidents that he's seen and what he'd like to have done to ensure that more accidents like this don't happen in the future. Reporting live in North Smithfield with the Mobile Newsroom, Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News. About 45 minutes ago, we learned a Warwick woman involved in a North Smithfield crash has passed away. It's a story that was first breaking last night on Eyewitness News. 34-year-old Melissa Senecal died following this crash at Northeast Auto Recycling. New at 6, what one person who lives near the crash scene says needs to be done following this crash and others. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian is live in North Smithfield with more developing details. Mike Shannon, a new aluminum fence here covers the spot where a car rolled off of Canal Street last night. And this evening, we've learned that the driver of that car has passed away. It was happenstance that a man was inside Northeast Auto Recycling Thursday night when a car came careening into the yard, rolling onto its roof. He's pretty shook up, you know, having to go there and find somebody in a car and wait for 911 to get here, you know, the emergency people. And so he's a little shook up. Brad LaFontaine owns the recycling yard and says a man inside the shop working on a project heard the crash. When first responders arrived on scene, they were able to revive the driver, 34-year-old Melissa Senecal of Warwick. But we've learned she died from her injuries Friday afternoon. LaFontaine says it's the worst crash he's seen here in 34 years, but not the first. Unfortunately, it happens all the time here. He says this stretch of road is particularly dangerous in the snow and the dark. LaFontaine says he'd like to see increased patrols on this road to ensure another crash like this doesn't happen again. Where she hit, she hit a lot of uh, heavy-duty you know, equipment, so... Uh, that's what caused all the damage for her car. And police tell us the cause of this particular crash remains under investigation. Reporting live in North Smithfield with the Mobile Newsroom, Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.